LTA. What up, what up, what up? Y'all know what it is. Let's talk about it, man. We got a few things to talk about. Well, really one thing. Lonnie Love, motherfucking ass. Lonnie Love is a, a host off the show, The Real. She said that... So, okay, let me, let me back up. Kevin Hart dropped a special. And um, on the special, he was kind of trying to explain why he cheated. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you used the word explain. But he was just saying, you know, he works a lot. Stress was getting to him. He didn't have his right team around him when the shit happened, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, Lonnie Love got on the show and said that black men feel that once you get successful... And um, and you get power that you could do what you want to do. You don't have the value of family. Now, the issue is this. She basically kind of said. She basically said all black men. You could say she was saying the ones with power. But after that, the content that she was putting in, she's pretty much saying all black men. So somebody on the panel said, well, that goes across the board. She like, no, it no, it don't. And she did, she got to try to explain that it's a um it trickles down from slavery. That we was, you know, that we don't know how to have a family. We 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 come from a broken home because of slavery and Jim Crow and stuff of that nature that kept us, you know, un uneducated and segre you know, segregate us and things of that nature. So we never understood or got the idea of how to have a family, keep a family, then you know, hold your family down. You gotta cheat as a black man. So not only did she say pretty much all black men cheat, she said only black men because when a, when her co host said it goes across the board, she was like, no it don't, because we are a product of slavery and this, that, and the third. Listen, man, I got two things to say about that. First of all, you too old to be thinking that you could that you could generalize everybody in one category. To say all, are you serious? All. So all black women wear weave. Stop it. All white women, no white women wear weaves. None of them wear weaves. Stop it. Um all white men are rapists. No, stop it. All Mexican men have have 10 jobs. Stop it. To say all for anything damn near in life. There's a few things that might be 100 percent, but I'd I, I be pressed to think about some of them right now. To say 100 percent for anything in life. Is, is ridiculous. It's not 100 percent of everything. Almost no time. I can't I can't think off the head of you know what is a hundred percent. Like, okay. Race might be, you know, your skin color, your ethnicity, your um, you know, you being black, you being white, you being Mexican. You can't even say that's a hundred percent of the time because you can't get your skin bleached, you could get, you know, um plastic surgery and all that crazy stuff. But at the end of the day, you was born, you know, one race, which they even call race, but you was born one. Um, at the, I can't say the word right, but you know what I mean. Um, so that's the thing. That's not even hundred percent because you could alter it. But if we're just speaking, you know, biologically, you know, you're one thing, one hundred percent of the time. So you can't really find much that's a hundred percent. You can't say that. All everybody from the inner city, the hood, from the urban area, is thugs and game bangers. You can't say anybody in the suburbs is 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 you know work a good job and a blue collar citizen. You know you can't say that. You got black people that's rapists. You got white people that's rapists. You got Asians that's rapists. You got Mexicans rapists. You got black men that cheat, white men that cheat, Asian men that cheat, so on so on. Like come on man, we too old for that. And this 2020, like technology is at all time high. If you don't know how to look things up or you might not be, that might not be your, your, your lane. Like you might be black. So you only deal with black people, but with the way technology is and 
all that good shit. If you don't know that everybody don't live like you, that all black people don't live like you just because you're black. If you don't know that by now, you crazy than a motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? If you don't know certain things by now, I don't know what to tell you. That's a damn shame. All black men, pretty much. She said all black men cheat. They pretty much said only black men cheat. She set it back a hundred years for that bullshit. <laughs> Let's keep it real, man. Like, like, I don't, I don't know, man. The thinking of people is just, the thinking of people is fucked up, man. If she don't get her big ham hog, greasy neck bone eating ass out of here. If you don't get your double chin, double neck. Big all the way around. Everything about you big. You don't get your motherfucking ass out of here with that old coonery ass shit, you coon. Tone down on black. Do you ever see, and keep it real, do you ever see a white woman in the media, interview or anything, say all white men this or that? Do you ever see it? All white men, um, whatever. I don't think I ever, ever once. And if you can find the clips, let me know. I don't think I ever seen a white lady say all white men this or that. I don't think I ever seen a white man in an interview or anything like that in the social media say all white women this or that. If you ever notice, it's always other races, mostly black. All black women is loud. All black men is thugs. All 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 black men don't pay child support. All black women wear weave. It's always black, 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 black. Now I probably heard something like all Asians no karate. Excuse me. All Asians no karate or something. I probably heard that before. But when it comes to whites, maybe um whites are rapists, white men are rapists. But I don't never hear that from a white woman, though, is my point. That was my point in the first place. Do you ever hear the white woman saying that? Do you ever hear the white man saying all white women this? You never hear the white man put the white woman down by saying all. First of all, they might put them down, but not saying all. They might put the one they fucking with down, but not all white women do this and that. You never heard a white man say all white women cheat. I never heard that before. If you have, let me know. I never heard a white man say all white women this, that, or third. It's always other races, blacks mostly. But you never hear the white man putting the white girl down or the white girl putting the white man down as a whole. Speaking in general. You dig what I'm saying? Belani Love, stop it, man. Talking about basically, she's basically said all black men cheat and only black men cheat. The fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. That's just crazy. I don't know, man. Just. I don't know if we ever overcome the bullshit. Listen to this. He asked them to choose between a black doll and a white doll. In most instances, the majority of the children prefer the white doll. I decided to reconduct this test as Dr. Clark did to see how we've progressed since then. Can you show me the doll that you like best or that you like to play with? They asked the kids which doll they like best, the black or white. Most kids picked up the white doll. They're doing a survey, right? Conducting a survey right now. I like to play with this. And can you show me the doll that is the nice doll? Now they ask them which doll is the nice doll. So why is that the nice doll? She's white. She, she's nice because she's doll white. That looks bad. Look at that. That's crazy that this came on as I'm talking about this subject. I just turned um, this on. You, you, why does that look bad? Because it's black. Said the doll look why bad because it's nice black. Doll? Because she's white. And the nice and doll is. Can you give me 
good because she's white. And they're talking to a black child. That's crazy. God just turned this on. This is the this is the radio. This is um KMOJ. KMOJ, I need a sponsor, baby. Shout you out. Hey, so I, I just turned this radio on just to turn it on to see what was on. And they're talking to kids, asking them about black and white dolls, which one looks nice, which one looks evil. And they're asking, you know, at that particular time, they was asking a black child. The black child said the white doll looks nice because it's white. And then they said the black doll don't look nice because it's black. And that was a black child they was asking. This is the shit we dealing with, man. We've been dealing with it, though. It ain't nothing new. And it's not... And that's the thing, too, that... What a lot of people don't understand is really not even a race thing, really. That's what they keep us divided on. They keep us divided on race. They keep us divided on, um, you know, big or small, fat, skinny, Democrat, Republicans. You know, shit like that, man. Like... They keep us divided. It's really a class thing. If you're a poor white, they don't, they don't like you just like they don't like me. And I'm talking about the hires up, the, the one percenters, you feel me? That's what I'm talking about. It's, it's about class. It's not really about race. They just bake that in front of our face to keep us separated. And look what the black woman on the talk did. What's her name? Lon Lonely Love? They decide where our kids are placed. They decide what qualifies for a removal of our children from their home, and these four people are doing something about it. So first, let me welcome two sisters. Well, before I do that, let me share a quick, quick bit of data. 126,238, the number of black children who are age 17 and younger. 64,450 of them are boys. 61,788 of them are girls. Sorry for the static. I like I said, I just turned this on. I ain't gonna fix the antenna yet. Black children. Of them, 18,528 are age 15 to 17. And 36,576 are age 4 and younger. These are the two populations that we find most often in out of home placement if you're black. So first, let me welcome two sisters and then two power brothers. It's like we have a Wakanda tonight, me and Walter, right? Who are working on this problem. And you know, I wish I knew this was on. I would have... Sister Khalees, welcome. I to actually would have... Um, I'm thrilled you're here. If I would have so, knew that was on, I would have incorporated that I would have incorporated that into this, into this video. The bottom line is... We got to love each other, man. And most important, I mean, you know, like I said before, there's nothing wrong with being pro your race. There's nothing wrong with being pro white, pro black, pro pro Asian, pro Mexican, whatever it is. That's not being racist. Being racist is when you don't like that other race. If I'm pro black and I don't like the white dude next to me, that's when I'm racist. Me being pro black doesn't mean that I don't like that white dude next to me. So, that's what it is, man. This is Let's Talk About It. Let's do it. 